first glance. They're the racist ones, not me. Deep as any other. But the observant may sense that every tree in its formation is ancient. I already made us a Persefo. Bathed in mystical serenity. The name of this place is familiar only to the few who grasp the truth. I'll just save over it. The ancient Elden Sanctum. Can you walk, lad? That's a relief. Seems like the rest on the right here did him some good. Poor chap's even got me worried. I'll shuffle along too. Hey. I... Reacted poorly when you were turned into the... That thing. But we don't know what you even said. I apologize. <laughs> we don't even know just what you said. I... For a moment... I doubted you. Forgive me. I should have recognized Luis's drivel for what it was. It surprised me too. It's behind us now. Nothing will shake me like that again, I swear it. I will never turn from you. And he's hoping there can be no surprises worse than that. <laughs> but what a sea of trees. If we get lost in here, we're never getting out. It's like I that one worse than Zoda. Barrier in place. Where they had the master Men's sword. Deliberately lead people astray too. A perfect place to hide. Gallica, how far is his highness? Does the far side mirror yield any news? Is he awake now? What no. is he doing? I checked a bunch of times in the gauntlet runner. But I'm not seeing anything. Was Mind. he just sitting on the fucking oh, table? He opened his way. eyes. What happened? Right. Everyone stay close so we don't get separated. In how many days? There's no way he's still knocked out. What? We literally saw him open his eyes. Huh? Who are you? Are you all right? What is this place? The royal flower. A surprise to see them blooming here. Something about this place. It is much like the altar of the dragon god. The magla in the air seems to be concentrated here. What is this place? Gallica. Something the matter? Oh, sorry. I've got this weird feeling that something really important happened here. Anyway, let's keep moving. Uh -oh. So here you are at last. This is uh how odd. Yikes. This place is clearly in ruins, but it doesn't look like natural decay. It was burned to the ground. One day a bunch of kingdom soldiers showed up out of the blue. And without so much as a reason. They made an inferno of the place. But why? Why would his majesty order such an atrocity? Thinking back now. It may have been Forden who led the charge. I can't be certain. But if it Hold on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Majesty was getting controlled by the church or something. He would have done it just to purge the filthy. He got betrayed Elder or some tribe. shit. Louise claimed that the Elden people were just another form of the humans. If he spoke true. They're not. There's no way. Anyway, more than half of the villagers died in the fire. And those who survived were forced to hide in caves. Damn. That way everyone would think they were wiped out. Tis a shrewd ploy indeed, to hide in a place the enemy themselves saw destroyed. Yet, why did Alsis? No matter. His Highness is in this cave, correct? Yes, over there. What? 
Ooh. He draws no breath. Likely a stab in the back. I doubt he even had time to shout. I recognize him. He was the associate of the first operative I came in contact with. He was a lot more skilled than those Sanctist warrior monks. But now... Gallica, the cave is just ahead, yes? Yes. It's past the woods, over there. Then we move. I don't like this. Damn, I keep getting stopped, bro. Can I play the game? Uh. Fairy. There's fairies everywhere. Oh, new jeez. Russell? Huh? My word. Is that you, Gallica? You were His Highness's tutor. Hmm? I know but one red tressed knight. Are you the royal? By the heavens. She's been helping us. Everyone here is a trusted ally. They've all fought to save the prince. Alas, oh, what a tragedy. If this reunion had only been a moment sooner. Russell, where is His Highness? What happened? Is His Highness safe? A few days ago, those detestable cursed thorns finally faded. And then... I cannot tell you how long I had waited to see them gone. It was truly a joy beyond words. It happened before we could fathom it. A lone stranger, a loathsome... Oh, Luis and that dude in. figured out this His place. His Highness had only just regained consciousness since the curse is lifting. Yet, to protect us, he threw himself upon the assassin's blade. What? We were horror-struck. His Highness lay pierced through the heart, and we saw him breathe his last. Wow, that wasn't really no, a surprise. <laughs> like, I don't know. Stranger was a master of, of course, he dies the moment we finish him off. We, we will free him. Like, of course. Of resistance is numbers. It's just happened a million times in a lot of other games. The moment no, people reunite, they just, one of them dies. I don't know of course. who the murderer was, but he cried his patron's name aloud as he did the deed. For Count Luis, from the moment he appeared, I believe his sole purpose was to kill His Highness. How did they as figure out this the place? The left the prince's eyes, the stranger left with only a smile. An innocent boy, twice tormented in the clutches of assassins. All because of the family he was born into. Luis, there really is no evil you won't stoop to. Please, Russell. Where is the prince? We've laid him in the prayer room for now, at the end of the cave. He rests just this way. You're coming, aren't you, love? I must go to him. You're right. Maybe we'll find some way to help. Ah, I'd heard a rumor that there was a boy candidate who claimed to be his highness. Tis just as St. Rilla said. <laughs> You're no scoundrel. Indeed, you risked life and livelihood to see His Highness restored. Strange. Something in you reminds me of His Highness. Something wrong? Uh, no, it's nothing. Well, I will go before you to the prayer room. They don't got security? You're going to stay here. I mean, they didn't really need security because no. apparently the forest is hard to navigate, but myself. like we got here in two seconds, so as, <laughs> as his knight. I you must. get lost in the forest easily or something like that. But whoever figured out this place clearly knew their way around here. Insider totem. One or the other. 
followed goons. Another Luis said one of his goons followed another goon of the Oda tribe. What the hell were they doing hey, outside you? of whatever? Oda youth. Beg pardon? Right into Oda. You truly Oda? You must hurry. The time has come. <laughs> Oh my god, look how many humans there are. What? My people. All these humans. All was for this day. Quite interesting how like there is still time. Instead of like skin color war or race war. Skin color race war. It's just like actual races. Like animal people like and like fucking bats and fucking goats and shit. Can I save? What now? Or do whatever the fuck this is about to be. <sighs> Skips Prince goes to the shop. Oh damn it! <laughs> this way. On the I like how this game depicts us humans as evil beings. Yeah, it's pretty cool. No, your highness. <laughs> yeah, since they since like the race war isn't like skin color, and just actual like different races, they can actually do racist shit without it being just like skin color, you know? Because that'll be like. Be very uh, controversial if it was like skin colored race war. Galica, you've returned. Milady Gruade. It's been a long time. May I ask who this is? She That's what I did too. This village, the Hermitess Gruade. She was kind enough to shelter the entire organization when His Highness. No, controversial it would be if it was skin color race war instead of like gone. actual races. Oh my fucking god. I'm sure some people would be losing it on Twitter. I was never supposed to outlive any prince. Like they're Was gonna be like, here? of course the no. fucking black people are the, in the, bunk room in the people back. poor on the streets we or whatever. Here to the altar once all was quiet. Like imagine, for example, like the parapets with like the black people. They're gonna be like, of course, the fucking parapets are the. I mean, should the black the people, the fucking die, people begging on the streets. Like that, that, that should be crazy. Here, so it, it, this is definitely way smarter than doing skin colors, because that shit would be crazy, bro. Despicable man. Despicable. He is still her Majesty's son. Despicable? What, you mean the king? But who's Her Majesty? Do you know nothing of the child's mother? The boy was not brought across borders to us. He was born here, in the ancient sanctum. His mother was our past chiefess, queen. the queen of our elder tribe. She was a flower amidst the forests. A woman of such beauty, it would have been grace, a hell of and kindness. She saved this child from the flames. And it cost her her life. Her death is on that man's hands. Like a piper, he wandered in and seduced the young queen with his idealistic tales. But he failed to protect his family and died powerless. The village was only set ablaze because the boy was in the way of the Sanctus Church's designs on the throne. And that insipid king could do nothing to stop them. But Damn. you see, <clears throat> this boy, his highness the prince, looks so much like her majesty. And so, hmm, you there, boy, are you perhaps, uh, no, it can't be. And yet, is something amiss, Milady Gruade? He is one of Gallica's allies. His loyalty stands with his highness, and he has risked much in the prince's name. Whoa! What's with the formal introduction? You were the one who gave us our orders in the first place. <laughs> Hurry. Pretty sure they're just the same person. Hey. The time has come. Oh? Here thou camest to the end of thy journey. 
This secret place was home to thee. Now remember MC thy schizo. path thus far. There was no second Walk person. He was talking to himself the whole time. And see it anew. <clears throat> I have been waiting for thee to overcome thy trials. Long have I waited for thy return. Know this. His life is not yet ended. What do you mean? It all started on that ill-fated day when the Usurper thought to extinguish his light. Before he fades away, recount all thou hast seen and felt. All thou hast gained in thy journey's course. <sighs> Gallica and thee sought to take the head of Luis, but thy efforts came to naught. So, ye moved instead to join a tournament to decide the land's king. In the prince's name. Though thy plan was reckless, thou didst win the trust of the people by the support of peers and subjects alike. Thus, thou didst declare thyself the prince. It was all a mistake. It was all for victory. After overcoming many obstacles, thou didst finally lift the prince's curse. Yet by the cruel machinations of another, the young prince... ...is no longer with us. <laughs> is no longer with us. Thy sole mission so I guess the curse split. Prince. Us up Bereft or something? Him, I don't know. Thou hast no further reason to live. And this is where it ends. <laughs> That's not true. If the prince is dead, what thy effort? I'm pretty sure the curse. My theory is, I guess the curse split us up or something, or split our conscious in half or something. I don't know. His will lives on. So thy resolve is yet unbroken. So be it. Thou hast earned the truth. He was consumed by the curse. And was taken by a deep abiding <laughs> man. <laughs> Yet his soul remained alive. So from his hilarious. earthly form, I extracted his soul. Wait, wait, okay, let me read this. So he was consumed by the curse and was taken by a deep abiding soul. Okay, so yeah, his soul is still there. Yet his soul remained alive. So from his earthly form, I extracted his soul. That he might travel the land in Odyssey. And thus his stilled sands began to flow once more. Okay, so yeah, I was right. It, he, they basically just split us up. Our soul has been the one traveling this entire time, but that is our actual body right there. He might travel the land in Odyssey. And thus his Figured, stilled sands. Because they look similar. Just that he has longer Thy hair by a little has bit. Taken thee far. And taught thee much. So now I ask thee. It was weird though because they put cutscenes with us talking to him. Just a traveler, I am no one. Just a traveler. I am the prince's friend. I am no one. I'm just a traveler. Could a mere traveler have borne witness to so many happenings beyond mortal understanding? To name but a few. Thy parents? Memories of thy youth? Hast thou any recollection of where and how thy youngest years were spent? You pick yes. that end there, by the way? Thy memories begin the <laughs> moment thou befriend the prince. Dost thou suspect the reason? I just don't remember, yeah. I don't have a past? I just don't remember. If you and also pick the second option mind. to end the game, thou what in the hell? The truth in thy heart, surely. Thou hast nothing. Thou art this like some mere stuff, bro. Own creation. Twas Gallica alone. You know, the by me, sure, I'm the all those days what was the ending for you yet? I'll just get what I get. Don't tell me none. To begin, all thou hast. All that had been bestowed was a memory. 
Thy mission to save the Prince. Thy memories of youth in the Prince's company, and the void enshrouding all else in thy past. All signs of thy conjured existence. I... I have nothing? Nay. Bruh. <laughs> the words of the Prince in thy memory are unmistakable. Alright, just put us together already. Woman, you talk too much. <laughs> the memories gained on thy journey. The friendships made. The trust forged. Put my soul back These in my body. True things are but my body's own. dead. All thy trials. <laughs> All thy experiences were to prepare thee for this day, to share the strength thou hast gained with thy other self. Oh my god, I was right. <laughs> uh. Do you mean... Trust the first I've gained. It's been there to support me. I've known, I've come for nothing, I have nothing. Would you, would people have stood by me, believe me? Same goes for desire to help anyone in need. But I've touched so, I've told it so laughly, idealistic beliefs this long. Accept the truth, and thou wilt face an ordeal beyond any you have yet faced. If thy desire is instead for freedom, Thou mayest still abandon thy mission. Oh, wow. And end it here. Is that right? So I bid thee answer my final question. Who art thou in truth? I refuse to know. Damn. <laughs> I am. The prince. I refuse to know is crazy. I'm two for two this year. <laughs> what is this? I feel a curious resonance. Oh, whoops, I'm pressing. Could this be? But how? Impossible. Hey, what's going on? What awaits us now? Wow. So the one we're playing as is the one that he imagines is the book. That's pretty cool. That's cool. We're playing as what he imagined. That's why he was schizo talking to himself. Who picked up the book? Oh, the fairy? Who picked up the book? No, no, we had the book when we came back. We just manifest right here? Okay. Ah, drawn by the divine relics. A little Mickey, but cool. The book is a divine relic. Okay, well that's obvious, but now I'm curious what. Luis's book is very, very curious on that aspect. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. <laughs> this is a major one, yes, but there's still a lot unanswered. My hair is different. Yellow eye is gone. The reason why I even put this together, two and two, is because, like, the the uh, the 
the heterochromia, the two different eye colors. It kind of felt like we're two different people. That kind of like spoiled me on that aspect. What? It would have been really obvious if if what the other, it? if the prince had yellow eyes. <laughs> that would have been such a big Thou spoiler. Done well to guide him this that would have been such a big spoiler. This voice. But we have one sure yellow eye, and I was like, why do we have one yellow eye? Be clearing. I, was, I mean, Remember now, I thought it was just an outer trait too, like, I don't know, how to chrome it, it's just a thing. A member of the resistance. The mission, the departure, was thine alone. And thereafter didst thou encounter him. Who are you? Wait. What You're you the saying? Schizo One Galaga, you were talking to nobody! <laughs> he had just been born into this land. Galaga, you were talking to literally nothing the entire time. not in appearance, the boy needed a guide. Thus, I decided his memories would be thine. Thou wouldst share past and purpose, a memory so crafted to suit thee. My journey to the capital would not be made alone, but alongside him. No, that can't be. He was there when we got our orders. We? I yeah, never okay, thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to yeah, our contacts there? Gave this your purpose. is your mission. For all our sakes. I don't know the voices or whatever. I'm assuming it's probably the outer no. queen or whatever. But Put these memories in Galica's head. We're like schizoder. We're not schizoder. Be saved. By these gentle, necessary lies, we could live to see this day when our dearest wish is fulfilled. As he traveled alongside thee, he gained both strength and wisdom. It is only by thy efforts that my voice reached him. He has now been saved. And so Schizo? the journey ends here. It's a hell of a plot hole, but they just explain it by saying, Oh, Schizo. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean it ends here? From here on, huh? thy path is thy own. Choose thy hey, Galica own isn't a guide anymore. for thyself. Yeah, I can and do what she wants now. Smile on thy journey. <sighs> I wonder what that last How part meant. Huh. With my efforts, that my voice reached him. He's now been saved so journey ends here. That was fulfilled the mission out only. Choose your own future for thyself. And then, oh, Sense pick your own ending or something, yeah. Really, you? How? I mean, how do you feel? You're lighter. <laughs> I feel a bit lighter. There seems to be no doubt. He is still himself, but I also sense his highness within him. Everyone? I need to tell you something. The truth is... So let me get this straight. So Luis might be You're the schizo villain born from the wish of the prince. And his I mean, joining together. every fantasy has but to have a villain. the former was... This disembodied entity sprung from the <sighs> latter? Then... That's why he had no memories? Cause he didn't even exist? I Correct. see. Finally, I understand the strange feeling I had sensed upon our meeting. What shaped you, so to speak, was the Prince's will itself, a part of his consciousness. Yes, the Prince's very heart. So do I get like he a fat ass level flesh. boost from this? Or like <laughs> all we knew was one shaped by material matter, Since I got like half of a prince in me like now, I mean that weak ass body. Beyond the vessel to <laughs> I got nothing off that. Oh, like it was hair. Forget the I get nothing God. off that. He may as well have been I get like a buff or something, or like hidden archetype. An archetype before anyone else. It was no great aptitude for magic. 
He himself was composed of pure magla. He just aged. The self <laughs> is a manifestation of one's desires, similar to archetypes. I suppose this is the very essence of magic. You, you mean to say that? So the yellow eye was from the book. It's not merely pretense to claim that like we were made from the book. He truly was. So I, half our eyes were yellow. That was like true, the only this clue is we your had, I guess. With your sworn liege. Seems like cause for rejoicing, eh? Lady Hulkenberg of the Royal Guard. But I... I failed to protect His Highness. No. I am sure the strength of your devotion had a hand in saving him. While all and sundry believed the lad had shuffled off, you alone no one kept the, the faith, was the <laughs> And in the end, that faith was... Uh, no, I mean, yeah, there's no way you'd know. His eyes yellow because of a book really? that he's holding. <laughs> yeah, there's no Isn't way you get that from that. Prince? Please, please forgive me. Wait, so what if the prince didn't die right there? Or well, wasn't actually like stabbed right there? And we still fused. We'd be stronger. Despite being a member of your royal guard, I did not recognize your highness at our meeting and showed you such insolence. I pronounce your sentence. <laughs> Actually, you've been there for me this whole time. He's right, you know. If we'd not met you, we'd certainly never have made it this far. This time, or if I fuse with that prince, bro, I'd be weaker. Protect you, even should it cost me I my life. I see Lotus power to fuse with the actual prince. Oh no! Nah. Finally, we've done Grius proud. We've really done it. By the way, what Finally are you supposed like a to call w. I mean, how would you prefer to be addressed, my lord? Yeah, you can just keep uh, calling me captain. No, your highness. With all respect, I must object. Uh, this is no time to be thick-headed, my girl. Time, yeah. He's the one who gets to decide what we Bally call him, so uh, listen to him, eh? What? You, sir, should be begging his highness for forgiveness on bended knee. Damn. You mangled the royal runner to your own whimsy, you lout. Uh, uh, well, that is, I mean, it was, it was all dashed useful in the end, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, a bit of clemency, your highness. So much for acting same as always. <laughs> prince? <laughs> we calling this for him? Fucking true prince, I don't know. It's beyond belief. This is true, Prince. Not just that a child who'd lain cold for years could this come back so, to oh, us, nah. but through such extraordinary circumstances, after so long in the curse's thrall, he could not even open his eyes. He may as well have been a corpse. But all this time, he had been on his own journey. It was the boy's dearest wish. He spoke of a fantasy of traveling the world, Meeting its people, seeing its truths, and without him even knowing, magic made it real. He is a child of Elden blood and Elden legacy. All these years he spent in the village, he has rested near the secret of true magic. Time to become an Odin Perhaps lord. This is how it came to be. His was a fantasy surpassing fantasy. <laughs> it became more than a dream. But a self-possessed force acting of its own volition. And now, reunited. Prince and fantasy living Nah, nah, there's no way I'm one of these two don't. <laughs> no way, bro. Senses. No wonder he set off the custom igniter in the royal gauntlet runner. He was the crown prince himself. Even having it all explained like this, it feels like nothing short of a miracle. I can only guess. Oh, I guess that was a hint. How we could teleport. That's right. The whole thing was made for the I prince. Remember, I heard a voice. Guide him, it said. Huh? Oh. A voice? Whose? If you can't remember anything from before our journey, then we probably met after you'd only just... Uh, happened. Right? <laughs> happened. I shouldn't have known you then. But for some reason... I was convinced that we'd always been together. 
I thought we both received the order to save the prince, too. Ever since the moment I heard that weird voice guiding me. A voice? Lady Gruaday mentioned a revelation. Hold on, are we still being mystic and metaphorical, or was there an actual well, guide three. involved? No, I know that someone was guiding involved. me. I and Tartarus was just too grindy. So a lot of people a didn't beat Persona 3 because of the Tartarus. Hang on. Uh, no, I don't think it's going to win given you, no. To think of it. Are you for like music or something? Sure, maybe. For me too. I don't think it's going to get hey, nominated. Who do you think the voice belongs to? Any idea? I have a faint idea, but I'm not entirely sure. Come to think of it, this place, the light coming in, they seem familiar. I might say the same. When I first acquired this power, I had a vision of someone not unlike these two. I, I don't think for someone to get nominated, but don't well. six games have to get nominated? Someone has been at your they usually do six every year, so maybe it can. Watching know. over the course of your journey, I imagine all this comes as a great shock for you as well. But here you are. Back in your rightful place, you have come to the end of your arduous journey and found new life. It is a life well won, grasped with your own two hands. Chief Descruidae, we want to know everything. What is the truth behind your tribe, the Elder? We Mustari are also said to have inherited truths of the world before us. Histories hushed by sanctism. But this village, it is something altogether different. I myself feel a strange familiarity here. A lost haven underground, yet letting of the sky's light. Please, tell us, what is the Elder Tribe? To know what we are, you must first know our history. Come to the altar room past the door. I'll wait for you there. Mm. Oh my god, my hair is white. What Even now? on the menu. So who's gonna be on a fucking loading screen now? <laughs> so we got a loading screen now. <laughs> when a new when a new day goes by. <laughs> Everything's white. Look at them time. Yes it is. Oh my god, we're so white. We're silver. This claw on the thing? That's funny. Hey, what you now got? I'm strong with white is crazy. <laughs> Let's do that. Is there any stats in Let's shop this trash. Oh, wait. Y'all got better. Oh my god, it's so expensive. Get the lance. What now? I'm not using that shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm not using no, that thing, bro. I think I'm loaded. Holy crap! So expensive. Strength. Comet gauntlets. Damn. Ooh. Get the comet sword? I'm not using the sword on my main here right now. Oh, I'm gonna use it for. I already gave one to the shoulder now. Oh wait, we're using great sword. We're not using sword. 
Across the room, what is that? I feel like I've heard of it. Just don't remember. I think that's all I want. Plus plus five magic. How nice. Hmm. It's kind of so it's worth it. I already did. Did I not? No. Oh wait, no, I didn't. No. Well, well, I need a combat sword. No, my class is use sword. Can't even enhance this. My classes use it. Get it. Just do it. Okay, you're gonna have to just fucking tell me because I don't. I don't. What now? Now what am I to worth? do? Oh, whatever, bro. Is it for a class or something? I'm gonna get like just tell me now because like I'm not about to buy that shit. I'm not wasting ninety fucking k. Like you better tell me now or else I'm not getting that shit. Yes? Okay. Now I'm Does this depict the elder tribe? <laughs> Those are fucking humans. <laughs> an ancient word meaning only the old ones. It was an alias given by our ancestors to outsiders who visited the village in the distant past. As for our original name, you know it well by now. We were humans. This human is the floating. Human tribe. So Luis's words. There is no human tribe. Tribes as we know them today did not exist then. We were all one. Ah, uh, I was right. We were everyone used to be human. Everyone. Because on the, the on the mural, on the left side, it, it showed like humans or whatever the fuck they call these deformed creatures today. And on the right side was uh like animals and shit. It was like slowly turning from human to animal. One that all but destroyed the world past. But its destruction was born of the discovery of Magla. Or as you call it today, magic. Like the mural in that temple place actually <laughs> made sense. Do you wonder what they battled over? Without the divided tribes, what could they have disagreed on? They were racked by division. Over the abstract, undefinable idea of rightness. They tried to destroy something invisible. And destroyed only themselves. And any idea of absolute rightness is born of fear. That fear flooded the world and gave way to war. And their age of prosperity came to be called the world before. The people we now call tribes were either born of artificial division for the sake of the war effort or natural adaptation to survive the hellscape after. Damn. Oh wow, that's crazy. So like, people now the were people born in artificial division or were natural adaptation to survive the hellscape. The yeah. the war effort, so they just or natural adaptation to survive the hellscape. Did whatever they could to preserve humanity. <laughs> you you should know what that means. We've met plenty of people caught up in pointless conflicts. Well, yeah, that's why some races now are just Given genetic choice, mutations with animals and shit. Tribal division. And yet the truth is... But everyone technically is human. Fallen apart. More than that, it's how we all got here. Such drastic physical changes would normally have taken eons to effect. Accelerated by Magla, however, it was only a matter of a scant few centuries. You understand now, yes. We, the Elder, are the survivors of the old world. Our ancestors fled the flames of war and thus- Yeah, he, all humans are now, today, are just humans that got with other humans instead of with, like, an animal or something. They're just pure humans. It beggars 
belief. It is nothing short of astounding. But then, why do we know these monsters as humans? By the war's end, both sides were consumed by fear. So yeah, that, wouldn't that mean the king is human? The king is Oda. The king, the king is Oda. Yeah, the king has to be of Oda. Because if the mom was Oda, the prince and the prince is Oda, like the king would have to be Oda. Is there a picture of the king? I don't think there's any. Fuck. That was the truth of the other one. The king was Clamor. Okay, but how would that make any sense then? How are we a pure human if. Clamor rules? Yeah, that. that so we're half Clamor? Like, what the fuck? Because we're still. Whatever the fuck. Whatever. They're going to explain it, Dual I assume. Assaults escalated let it glitch. Retaliation until it was beyond all control. Our world became a hell. Rampant magla distorts the body and mind. By now, I'm sure you know that better than you ever wish. Outer Jinx were stronger. That's what I'm assuming, because other than that, that wouldn't make any sense. If our mom is human. Oh, out my bad. I can't just say human. Outa. And one's Clamora or whatever. How the fuck I'm are we just human? <laughs> and not like a mix. Well, I guess it's like RNG which race it would be. <laughs> it's not like a mix of both features. It just It's literally just you're either born Oda or you're born Clamora if your parents are one or the other, I guess. And multiply as any beast does. Others live centuries of agony before their lives burn out. Even we do not know the full scope of their nature. Regardless, when the eight tribes settled in this land, our claim to the human legacy was forgotten. To the people, the name only meant slavering insane monsters. Therefore, we took on an alias instead. The same one by which we are known today. The Elder. So, the old world couldn't control its magic, and... Wait. How does the Sanctus Church fit in? <laughs> All this revisionist history to spread their magic igniters. Indeed, what are magic igniters to you? Tools for the church to shackle the people, perhaps? Or weapons that hide magic's true potential? Am I close to the mark? In truth, it's the opposite. Igniters are tools made to limit magic. Restraints made in self-discipline, meant to avert a repeat of history's destructive mistakes. Oh, wow. The Sanctus Church of today is muddied by greed. But its faith was born of good intentions. They once urged self-control, and thus control of one's personal magic. At times, they preached we must close our eyes to the truth when it would only lead us to ruin. By this benign tenet, history was and the elder and elder with humans, with I have no idea. Be mixed blood? Yeah. There's a grim irony in that. His majesty only hid his son's ancestry to protect him. Yet in the end, that meant Forden could attack the village under any pretext he liked, his motives concealed. With all that said, you have now reclaimed your true form. The friends that stand with you are of different tribes and ideologies. But of one mind, as you are now, you may walk. Every single the path person here is a different tribe. King. The path of a modern world. Everyone here is of every the tribe in the game. Walk as individuals, yet with mutual respect and cooperation. Is there a tribe missing? I don't think so. The sovereign's power, thou king to be, entrusted with the will of the people. To bear their hopes is to be their rock in the storm and to face anxiety in their names. Yet, anxiety itself is not something to blindly reject or desperately cast away. It begins with a simple thing, acknowledging its existence. Accept thy weakness, walk forward alongside it, 
and thou wilt grow strong and true in its company. Mm. And besides, what was this class called? Whoa. Why not be something lame like the king or prince? Oh shit. What is that? The prince? Damn it! That's such a lame name. Let's do it. The prince archetype? Let's fight. That's it. I've made up my mind. I'm with you to the end. No matter what. Why is this coming from? Mm. Before we got there, this guiding voice thing told me my duties were over. But what am I gonna do? Just go, okay, bye? Especially after we've come this far together? No. I'm going to face Luis with you. Even if it is scary. Even you've got to cope with anxiety, eh? I've realized something more mag. travels. Probably is some stupid. Anxiety can lead <clears throat> people astray. But overcoming it makes a person stronger. There's always anxiety in the unknown. I know what it's like to be afraid of something I don't understand. That's why I think it's my duty to help people face and connect with their anxiety. Is that okay? From now on, it's not about orders. I'm with you because I want to be. <laughs> I'll be counting on you as always. Same here. Stick close to me, okay? Cool. Well, we're past the worst of it. But the problem remains. Luis's dark magic. We've seen it turn the boy into a monster. And no doubt he can do it again. A forbidden spell. Turning sane mortals into the fearsome human monsters. In other words, a destabilizing magic. Turning a person's magler into a snarl beyond control. This man named Luis. He may have his own past in this ancient sanctum. Luis has been here? What do you know of him? What do you wish to know? Fuck the spell. Who exactly is Luis? My theory is that Luis is like of his doings in the wider world. He's half human, half well, he's, his parents are like part sure. of the same. Half Clamor, half Elda, but he was born Clamor and not Elda. His grasp of darker arts. They're all beyond a mere soldier to begin with, however prodigious. As it happens, a name does occur. Among those old families who perished in the fire, there was one by the name of Caradrius, a family of doctors, I believe. In an effort to better heal the ills of the people, they had studied spells much like the ones he now exploits. The details are long since lost to the fire. But if Luis spares our legacy, that may be the reason for his vast... Yeah, he lost the 50 50 years. Wait! What about Luis's ambition? The vision Rella saw. Do you think he actually wants to turn everyone in the kingdom into humans? There is no known magic strong enough to turn many people at once, and none that can be cast quickly. Even if it was possible, I don't know what it would accomplish. But this is Luis we're talking about. Who knows what he's thinking? What do you wish to know? What is this forbidden spell? The essence of magic is in the control of Magla. However, just as its chaos may be calmed, it can also be deliberately pushed out of control. That was what you saw. He whipped your innate magic to a frenzy and you were lost to melancholia. Just as the humans of the ancient war melancholia. once were. In every age... Is there something in here for melancholia? Oh, there is. I've read it. Yeah, it's like this deformed bullshit thingy. Acromash is over. Verification of magic. Uh, within one's body is... Irreparably in bursts, causing biological functions to turn regular, and the phenomenon drives most creatures to an uncontrolled violence. And bizarre changes can occur throughout the body depending on the degree of its progression. The base is fucking rotting. 
or like what is it a crystals? Uh and yeah, I'm too crazy about that. What are these ones? I always thought these were the same. Uh living creature. Oh, this is the one that spawns the creature. Oh yeah, 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 that makes sense. The cause and effect are the same. People learn fear, become slaves to their anxiety, suffer, and thus the power of magic is born. Pardon me. Check the stats on the points after. Anxiety yeah. is the source of all magic. Magla is a substance born of the heart, generated when one feels anxiety or fear. By certain means, it may be kindled into power. That is what we call magic. In this way, it is by virtue of the anxiety in our hearts that we gain the power to overcome it. Magic is a natural process, and anxiety is its invaluable, irreducible fuel. But in turn, those burdened with more anxiety and fear produce more and more magla from their hearts. Without the willpower to face your fear, the magla overflows. Uncontrollable by magic, it can give rise to strange and terrible happenings as it manifests, with the world embroiled in chaos. These outbursts of swollen magic may be happening all across our kingdom. It is the answer to everything. The Melancholia crystals, the beasts driven feral, the fairy land is erupting with the weight of its people's fears. Hold on. If Luis's art is rooted in bringing out this chaos, then anyone might be next. He said he became a monster because he's a human. I'm sorry, well, it's going to turn somebody human. That's to be if really intense. Yeah. True. Indeed. All people today are ultimately descendants of humankind. Correct. If Luis so chooses, he could turn anyone into a human monster. Yet as long as you have the strength to confront your fears, even this transformation may be defied and overcome. Interesting part of it. Yeah, it is. Turn people into humans, if in the unlikely event that happens. So. Um. I mean, it's nothing really. Everything we know already. Just trying to make sure I get everything right. If there is any motive for such cruelty, it can only be hatred. If Luis is truly from this village, then their fire would have cost him everything. Such unjust tragedy could easily beget a thirst for revenge, even if it meant wielding a magic that twisted life into something terrible instead of uplifting it. Indeed, it seems the opposite of an archetype. I wonder who hates the king. Power. Who goes there? Someone flees! It all makes sense. That's him! The malformed assassin who struck at the prince! He's bound for the woods! After him! It all makes sense why Luis would be mad at the king. They want the royal family gone or whatever since, like, they basically caused this place to get burnt down or whatever the fuck. Since the church, uh, condemned, uh, elders to the... To their, uh... Their magic spell or time sh or of titan shifting or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it Titan Shifting so you can understand what I'm saying. Because they're dangerous magic. Oh, you told me to check the stats, right? Now. Wait, where is it at? Am I blind? Oh, it's right here. Support? Support attacks from cowards happen more easily. Enemies are stunned more easily in the world. Support attacks? What's that even supposed to mean? Will they like do a follow up? And yeah, losing its human type monsters. And I might get crushed. Fuck. Fuck, I knew I should have just saved. Whatever. I mean, it was a fat ass long cutscene. I can just skip it.
getting fucking trolled. <laughs> Second crash tonight. <laughs> Second crash tonight. It's okay though. It's okay. We, we we move over this. I'm happy the lower dump is like actually knowledgeable to a certain degree. It's not like straight out of nowhere just bat shit. Oh, take this. <laughs> it's like actual like what now? Stuff that can make actual sense. It's not just like this happened because well why not? Oh boom plot twist. Like I don't know. It's not like I don't know how to explain it. It's not like just some bullshit, like just some ramble bullshit. Like on the spot bull it doesn't feel like bullshit. It feels like it actually makes sense. Anyways, uh what is how does it support things? The PCs attack too? Oh that thing. Oh overall, okay. Cushers. Three ranks. Three ranks? Damn. Who's heavy light magic? Light wait, what heavy light damage? I don't know. I'm reading the wrong getting tired. Oh cool. Four additional turns. Can only be used once per battle. Okay, well that's not how it works for them. What the fuck? <laughs> that's kinda trash though, because if you use trickster you can just get lucky and use it multiple times or whatever. Just all affinities, damage. Wait, what? And the Almighty. Am I reading that right? That is quite crazy. Um, stream Almighty damage to one enemy. Damage boosted against human type monsters. World sword. Armageddon's Fire Sire. Four. Nine nine MP. All enemies. Required item Chronicle of the End. First ally must be a royal arc what the fuck? First ally must be a royal archetype, second royal archetype, third royal arch what in the hell? What counts as a royal archetype? One of the main ones, I assume? Or what it what is a royal archetype? Or am I gonna find that later? Look at your teammates now. What? I don't see anything. Oh, the final class. Okay, I see what you mean. Joel is rank 20 and cent. Wait, what? We max here. Oh, oh, yeah. I was supposed to do that with highest man. I didn't get to do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. No, it's not that. It's at the top. What's at the fucking top? Yeah, there's another top for them. I didn't. I didn't finish their social links. I didn't finish their social links. I know. I know what you mean. I know what you mean though. Um. Uh, Sable dance was this. Whatever. Um. Ooh, we can earn four slots. I mean, new class. Might as well try it. He doesn't say anything when he equips it. But he doesn't talk at all anymore. What the hell? He usually say the class when he equips it. Um. So what does this class start with? One enemy and then that. Oh, good thing I have a. Uh... Where's the other passive? Oh, there it is. Slash boost. A strike. Mm, same lineage. Oh, that's twenty percent. Sense of kinship. What is this? Is attack and physical attack the same thing? That's ah, basically the same thing. All right. Fuck it. What the? I'm at least dumping fizz boost in. Uh, I need an AOE slash move. So I'm gonna put in. Yeesh. What if I MP?
Raging at this takes 30 AMP. That shit is so expensive though. Fuck it. Alright. You want his rules 10 AM for you? Eh. 10 AM. They made that bad. Nah, you, it's 10 a.m. You haven't slept there. You cooked. Boost passive? Nope. I think I do. Maybe I do, but I don't know. I don't remember. You got no casual server. Flip the side from Pebbles. I don't know where we're Damn. No. I'm just very happy the lore actually makes sense. And it's actually like plausible. It isn't just like Stop! ramble. You. Or shit that makes no sense. Or it's just like out of nowhere. So it was you behind the attack. Indeed it was. I killed the prince, though he died all too easily. And the odd thing was, he was guess the first major boss of the game. To yours. So I decided Kills to bite my time a while and listen. And it's a good thing I did. There really is something stranger going on. Who are you? Very are you weird the how they do not? these cutscenes. Just Eddie walking Ransom, in the middle of the night, we just walk behind it. I must back to Lord Luis. Do you have any idea what Luis is really scheming? If he becomes king, everyone in this country is doomed. If that is what Lord Luis so desires, then I shall see it done. It's almost impressive how blind your faith in him is. I suppose it's just easier it's the same thing with fire home engage those are odd he's forgotten anything he really wants what do you intend to do the crown is too heavy a burden for your reedy frame they don't want like, to animate him like true king sneaking up behind us or something and you I'm just casually just walk up behind him a imposter only fit to be sacrificed he is no imposter fiend his Highness has finally taken his first steps on the road to victory. Here, at his journey's end, after enduring these countless hardships, he has become a true successor, a true ruler, because he knows the people's suffering firsthand. <laughs> well, imposter or not, it's all the same if he's a corpse. And so I shall return the prince and his dying legacy to the underworld where they belong. Back? With this boss, boss again? I wondered why you ran away, but it was all to lure us straight to this monster. Wasn't this the again? first boss in the, for, the, from the, the demo? Nah, 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 I wouldn't count this as the first one. We've when me and Stroll fought, to be stopped by something and with like the tree him. apples Let's put our power in the demo. On full display. Yeah, let's run back. Well, you need to learn architect to just this work. This guy shows up again just when we've unlocked some new power. Kind of feels like fate by now. Okay, time for a new fight. Stay on your toes. Friends archetype. You should probably change it as you wish. Yeah, because portfolio synthesis skills. So there's unique traits only found on all archetypes, but no skills can be transferred. Damn. Right. Let's take it down and then get after Zorba. Oh my god, look at all that hair. Sable gun. Damn. Doesn't take that much mana too. I'll cut through. That's Free damage. Me. What the hell? Charge! I, I must concentrate. Heed me. Wasn't weak to wind. Why'd I do that? Are you prepared? Packing right on target. Ooh. Let's go. I got some damage on him. The blade for it. How's that? Did you come on? Fortify. Thanks. Thank you. Helpful as ever. I pray. 
pray you're ready. I'm pretty sure it was a win. I don't know, it wasn't. No holding back! The power of fire! Yeah, it wasn't fire either. I don't think this fight's gonna be over after this. I refuse to believe he dies here. Let's go. Apologies. That was worth it. Fuck. I did like no damage. The situation. I'd rather refrain. I shall vanquish now. evil. I'll cut they die hard. More That's a lot of turns. Quick, knock them off again. Regenerate the headwind. Here comes another round of wind attack. Normal. Ah! We'd only just taken them out. Ew. He licking his hands too. What God, the hell? Man's feasting. That's crazy. He was actually munching on that. Let me handle those apples. All right. Now it can't heal itself anymore. Let's look at the start of the game. It's still up. You witness our secret technique. I'm the all power of kings. Not on me. We go together. Let's do this. That helped. I am grateful. You <laughs> can't be that good. I'm saying. <laughs> A man's feasting with the. Give me strength. This shit must have been hella good. Yet. Is there any other option? No, I don't know. Make it harder for his own? Oh my god. That buff is crazy. Oh my god, that is a crazy buff. Everybody dodged everything. That was godlike. Zorba, get your ass out of here, bro. Wind God's Gale. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Oh, that class angry. levels up dummy slow. Uh oh. Nice. I feel stronger already. Even I had more to learn. Trim class is kind of fucked if you would have invested in the magic though. <laughs> the whole game. I am most certainly stronger than I was. <laughs> this class doesn't seem to be magic. The bastard got away. Oh, it is actually kind of. You chaps boggle the mind. It's no mean feat to fight on even footing with a human. Hmm. I'd hoped as much. You may yet have the power to face Luis at his full strength. It's good to see you're safe. Where is Orba? We've certainly taken these powers yeah, away. And dropped it in Loran? Maybe we thought ourselves invincible. But don't worry. At long last, the prince is safe. In a manner of speaking. He dropped that shit in going Ran. according to plan. That's crazy. Still, what's our next move? The people think you a monster. We'll not find any public backing like this. Alces once said that His Highness the Prince was a soul born into adversity. He is royalty and elder both. Heir to the legacies of heaven and earth. He is water and fire in condemned conflux. When the day comes that His Highness may be revered as that the good the ruler he can be, biggest dick he'd ever <laughs> then the world will truly be free of prejudice. And that, he said, is why we fight. In his own words, huh? That was like... We have to fight for what he believed in. That was like... All the more reason we can't turn the, on the, this. The craziest glaze I've ever read! What did he just say? That was... Holy shit! <laughs> right. That was crazy, Glaze. <laughs> Even if somebody was talking about me like that, I don't know if I would want you to. What the hell? What may. My life is 
the shield raised in your That was ultimate glaze. Are you prepared to fight Luis to the bitter end? God damn. We fight him together. Yes. By our efforts, we will stop Luis's reign. <laughs> if he ends crazy. up king, he'll be sending all traces to the gallows. Not just us, but any innocent folks he doesn't find use for. <sighs> Look, I'm never giving up hope either, okay? All we have to do is beat him. Right? All we have to do. Looking forward to the victory song. <laughs> well, we've got bigger things to worry about now. But I can't wait to sing it. You... <laughs> I'm still amazed. You really do look just like your mother. Truly, you are a child of fate. Your mother, she loved your father and you with all her heart. The injustice that befell this village is not your fault. But listen well, once you leave this village, you cannot return until you have fulfilled your ambition. Hmm? After all, an old crone like me can't take care of you forever. If you want to overcome your hardest challenges, you'll have to face them yourself. The world's fate is in your hands. Please, put an end to the tragedies of humankind's failures. Thank you, and for everything. Our final battle lies ahead. We cannot lose. Yet, before all else, His Highness has only just awoken. Let us rest in the Gauntlet Runner for today, and advance to the royal capital tomorrow. Hmm. Wow. It's a bit strange, isn't it? I was convinced we'd been together for a long time. But I can't believe we've only just met. The beginning of my journey may have been a false memory. But my journey with you and the memories we've made, those are all real. Well, <laughs> guess I'm repeating myself. But I'm glad we're working together. Likewise, I'm glad to be your ally. Yep. Though, I guess our toughest challenge is next. The mystical fairy, Gallica. Oh. She who still keeps the virtues of the mage. Your tempered bond has become a fire-forged trust. Thus, a new pinnacle of heroism awakens within thee. By the grace of her newfound powers, work like, together can't really get to give truth thingy, so to like, our uh, hopes what is this even and give fulfill me? thy destiny. We've got the path to tomorrow in front of us. And Elemental I'm gonna lead Master the way. and Warlock. Doing Skull Bows an extra turn? What? What the fuck? That? Where was that the whole game? I can finally get an extra turn? Where was that the whole game? When things get tough, remember this magic. The music meant for you will play in your head. Wow. By the way, the chief test told me something about your novel. Apparently your parents gave you that book when you were still just a kid. I wonder what your parents wanted you to get from reading it. What they hoped for you, I guess. Why does Louise have one? I suppose you'll have to find out for yourself. Mm. Mm. The part we're reading today is the last chapter. It's about the ruler of this ideal world. Let's read it together. I find you annoying. The last chapter is 
is about the ruler of a utopia. The one who governs this utopia must have an unwavering will. To maintain justice in this world, there are innumerable obstacles to overcome, yet... Nice to game to as fight gonna be. By their ideals, that so? Those who support them are sure to follow. A utopia is not the creation of a single mind or a single power. It is a world shaped by all its people. The last part sounds a little more metaphorical, hmm? There's a little more. However, even a utopia may one day fray at the edges, and its people may come to conflict over the question of what is right. What is a uh -oh. true utopia? What is a true ruler? Utopia doesn't really exist. None have yet found the answers to these questions. Somewhere, always someone's gonna be having bad intentions. There's no utopia. No matter what, someone's gonna be poor on the streets. There's no, there's no fixing it. So even the author of this book struggled with these questions. And if you become king, you'll have plenty of tough questions and struggles to face yourself. Lady Cruaday mentioned the king was a real idealist when he first arrived at the village, but little by little, the pains of reality crushed his hope. And he even lost his son. In the end, his will was broken. Oh, he didn't lift wait. a finger to stop the church's rise to power. With that in mind, I can honestly see why people would be drawn to Luis. His values are radical. What the fuck? Devoted to them. Unshakable, even. But we can't lose either. For the sake of everyone who has believed in us along the way. Well, this thing will come to reality. Right. And what choice they believe in them and fight on all stages except that nothing has changed. You've got the power to change the <clears> world. <throat> and the one who gave it to you mm. was. Well, yourself. And that's what I'm going to help you with. That's my mission. My real mission. And I'm going to see it through. I saw what happened. So, you found a way to unequivocally shape your destiny. As far as I know, there is no record of your newly acquired archetype ever being used, even in ancient times. An archetype whose existence was only theoretical, known to some scholars as the magic of true sovereignty. Indeed, a power of legend. I once said that to be elder was your inescapable fate. However, it seems the truth was more complex than that. Magic is a process by which we confront fate and tame anxiety. And archetypes are its essence. They are manifestations of a resolve capable of heroic virtue. So then, what do you think is the foremost, most inescapable fate a person must bear? The foremost fate? I'm not really sure, but... For me to be me, and for you to be you, or something like that. Indeed, it is birth that is inescapable. You cannot choose who you are born to, and once your familial place is determined, that fate cannot be changed. Yet by some strange tangle of destiny, you were given a choice that the very act of existence denies most people. By your own will, you were born again. As a prince, do you understand? You stand on the threshold of truly becoming a ruler, not as an unearned title of bloodline's chance, nor as a mere authority over people. You have taken control of your life. 
You are ready to rule your very self. That is what it truly means to be a hero. And it is the crux of the power that has awakened within you. <laughs> what glorious coincidence indeed, that I, as a scholar of archetypes, might cross paths with and witness such a remarkably fated boy. It almost bespeaks... Indeed. Tis what his hands the... that bear our fate. Who? Uh, I, I remember. I know that I know this voice. Had I forgotten it all this time? Why is this hair white? It's a pretty big yes. spoiler. <laughs> I swear I've heard it before. And I... I let it slip from my mind. Who are you? You, with this voice that moves hearts, speak! Who are you? Why have you awakened this boy to his power? If it is answers you seek, then go and claim them. Are you... Huh? Could you be? As for you, I bid thee awaken. Move onward to thy final ordeal. Take thy place at the final proving of the Ascension of Kings. Ascension of Kings. I swear to I'm back to sleep. Hmm. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws near. Oh, cool. It's different. That's cool. That's a different now. Okay. All our preparations are just about set. Now that this is actually happening, I've got some pre-show jitters. All this royalty? It always felt they lived in a different world to the likes of me. Never figured I'd be walking alongside one myself. Tis proof that Bloodline decides nothing. We are one people living in a shared world. Looks like this is going to be our last mission. Any final words you want to say? Ah, yeah. <laughs> we can't give up. Stand strong <laughs> to the end. so funny. Of course. No way we're losing here. I've got the fire in me eyes now. About the new stuff you've felt and learned since becoming a prince. Can I ask you one more thing? Why is it that you want to be king? It's not about honor or power, is it? Some coin would be nice. <laughs> I don't care for honor. It took my country and its people. Uh. I don't care for honor, power, or anything of the sort. Even having become your highness the prince. It is strange to say, but you have not changed a bit. Well, I guess this means we're ready as we're gonna be. Can I go anywhere? Or do I Let's have move. to go to the shred? Oh. Let us hurry. Can I go anywhere? Oh, come on. Nope. <laughs> Let's move. You see? Yeah. And you're playing, you choose not to fuse. Oh my god, my game crashed again. <laughs> it keeps crashing, damn it, dude. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Whatever, that's three crashes in a row, bro. <laughs> Whatever, I'm gonna just call it, damn it. <laughs> I mean, that's a sign, dude. Three strikes, I'm out, bro.